okay if you're watching this part it's because you tested your engine and it didn't work or it just started to work and stopped you shook out the water reprimed it and tried it again but it still doesn't work let's see what we can do I know you already pressure tested but look what happened to me with this engine when I put the candle under it it seemed like it was starting to pulse a little then nothing that's a typical pattern for an engine with a tiny leak. Soon I could smell the hot metal and glue, and it was too hot to hold. Because the straws were bent, it was hard to pressure test underwater. So I took another tip from Mr. Winter. We also use a solution with soap and water mixed. You can just put air in the tire and dump a little bit of soapy water over it. And wherever the bubbles come out, that's where you find your hole. We either use water or just soapy water. We can use both to find the holes in a tire. I found this tiny leak only when I pressurized it as hard as I possibly could with my lungs. My face was red from exertion. Either I missed the leak the first time my pressure tested or it opened up after. Because of the angle of the engine, you'll have to look in a mirror to see the bubbles, or a friend can help you look. <laughs> Toby! <laughs> Patch with epoxy if you find a leak. If you're positive there's no leak, there might be some issue with the things covered in the instructions. A kink on the side, a bottom push too hard, or a kinked bend in the straw. Very rarely, when the second straw was glued in the engine, it could have become clogged with epoxy from the first straw. You can diagnose this by blowing into one straw. The air should pass freely out the other straw. If it's blocked, that could be the problem. Every once in a while, I make an engine that simply doesn't work, and I never figure out why. For all my scientific diagnoses, it might as well have an evil spirit. I'm being facetious, but there is still some mystery in these engines. I know how painful it is to work on an engine for hours only to have it not work. I'd rather cut my fingers than feel that pain of frustration. If you send me an email with close-up pictures from several different angles, I might be able to help you figure out what's going on. Don't be afraid to email me feedback even if it did not work the first time. That can help me identify the pitfalls and improve my instructions. Ultimately, you might have to build another engine. As much as I hate to do things over, I know from experience that it goes faster the second time through, and I often do a better job of it. Use soapy water and air pressure to look for tiny leaks and seal them with epoxy. If you can't find any, you might have to make another engine.